Hello everyone, it's Kiki, and in this week's video I am fixing up my AU version of Gerahim that I drew back in Linktober for 2021. I mostly wanted to redo it because when I did him initially, uh, the angle I was drawing at, in order to make sure it was decently visible to the camera, was awkward and I didn't make sure to check it before going in with the line work so he ended up being kind of awkwardly angled and a bit stubby which Gerahim is not. Uh, he's very long and tall so I wanted to mostly fix that just the dimension of it but there were a few things about his outfit that I just wasn't necessarily happy with either, so most of them are just really small changes and a lot of it's color. Uh, I also changed his hair a bit. I think I made it a little bit longer, made it a little more visible. Uh, I changed the position of his one arm. With where I drew it in the traditional version, it wasn't bad, but when I came in to do it here, it just... Eh, so I kind of tried to make it look like he had just flipped his hair over his shoulder. I think it kind of sort of comes across. I'm I'm still working on the whole motion in action, but in a still image thing. There was probably a better way to say that. But I think I kind of got it. There's, there's so many things in art that I need to work on. Uh, this arm gave me so much trouble, the angle of it. I think I, I think I managed to get it looking good though. But um, yeah, the prompt I believe was just Garahim in general. I don't think it was like redesign him or anything like that. But I just, I wasn't feeling the whole draw him as his normal self thing. So I decided to redesign him. Well, I've redesigned him before for my Skyward Sword, but I didn't feel like doing that either. But I've seen a few fan fictions and a few other artworks where people have given him the background that he was originally the Demon Prince, but then Demise came and stuff happened and he got forcibly turned into the Demon Sword and you know, brainwashed, blah blah blah. So this is an AU where he's the Demon Prince, but he never actually, or well at least before Demise showed up. Uh, so, and he ended up kind of being like the start of this whole AU thing that I created, because I also made a, a Prince Link, which I also have redone because of similar reasons as this one. I did a good version Ganondorf, where he's uh, a, a kindly knight kind of a thing. Kind, kindly knight kind of, wow. Mm. And then I did an evil Zelda. Boy, she gave me trouble. Um, but I do plan on, I've already redone Link, he'll show up in a video later on. But I do plan on redoing both well, not redoing, but doing them again, both the Ganondorf and the Zelda. I want to come back to Ganondorf because I only did him from the waist up, so I want to draw the rest of him. And Zelda I want to redo because of her freaking head gave me so much trouble, and I just, I, I, and there's small things about her outfit that I want to change, but, uh. But I had fun with redoing uh, Gary him here. I typically do enjoy drawing him. He's just, he's so fabulous and just enjoyable. I mean, he does give me some grief. But for the most part, I enjoy drawing him. <laughs> but again, he does, he does have his nuances that frustrate the absolute crap out of me, like his makeup. God, I don't know how to draw makeup. It doesn't matter what medium I use. I I can do makeup really well, like, as a person, on a person, or on myself. But drawing it is so weird. Someone, tell me how. I just, I don't, 
know. Maybe there's a Skillshare for it. I do have Skillshare. I just never use Skillshare. <laughs> I've been paying for it for like two years and I haven't looked at it at all. Oh. But yeah, I had fun with him. And I really like how he came out. I did have a bit of a fuss around with the colors. Like, do I want... Do I want this shade of gray to be slightly darker? Do I want it to be slightly lighter? Do I want it more blue? Do I want it more red? Do I want it actually purple? Do I, I was like, and they were like the smallest, dumbest tweaks. <laughs> I think, I'd, I don't think I even recorded half of it because I was just constantly flipping the colors around and I didn't think that would be interesting to watch, but I must have fussed with the colors for, gosh, maybe two hours. Um. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with how he turned out. I liked that I changed the boots to over-the-knee boots rather than uh, under-the-knee boots. I think it fits him much better with his fabulousness. Fabulosoness? Fabuloso is a creamy thing. Uh, I did change how the pendant is on him in the original. I sort of had it on like this weird... At first I kind of had it attached to the the shirt, but then I'm like, it's really big to be attached to this shirt, so afterwards I sort of like last minute added this ribbon thing in to hold it, and it just looked really awkward, especially for the size I made it, um, especially considering I just generally almost forgot to put the gem in, and that was also a last minute addition. So here I made it much smaller, and I made it a chain necklace, which I think fits and looks much better. Um, but yes, overall, I'm really, really happy with both of them, honestly. It's just those small tweaks I do like much better than the original. Um, I think I'm starting to repeat myself, so I am going to stop talking.
So just at the end here, I hope you liked my princely version of Gerahim, and uh, I hope to see you around on my arty journey. Till then, bye!